and welcome to another edition of Pelham School District Today. Today, I feel like I have some celebrities at the table, actually. 
I have uh, Casey Locke and Mike Norton, our art teachers, up at the high school, and then I have Joe Mundy, our music teacher, up at the high school. Um, these these uh, illustrious educators have brought our fine arts program to a whole other level at Pelham High School in the past few years. Uh, we're deeply grateful for that, and I know that our students have experienced quite a bit of success. So, um, Casey and Mike, why don't you tell me a little bit about some of that success that your art students have seen recently? Uh, well, thanks for the kind words. Um, we uh, just uh, had a, uh, a group of students who submitted to the Scholastic Art Awards, mm -hmm. and the Scholastics, what they are, it's uh, for high school and middle school age students uh, all across the country. Uh, thousands and thousands of students submit, submit their work to, um, to be adjudicated um, at a really high level. And um, on, a, on a state average, probably about half the works that are submitted receive some type of recognition. And over the past few years, um, Pelham's average has been considerably higher mm -hmm. than that. I think just myself, I submitted something around 35, 36 pieces this year, and we got, got back 33 award winners from that. Mm -hmm. So the percentage is pretty good, which means our kids are doing something really great. Um, and additionally, on, on top of that, uh, you know, we've got gold key awards and silver awards. Um, but on top of that, we also have uh, some kids that sometimes go national. And so something that hasn't even been announced at the high school yet, uh, one of our juniors, Allison Hoey, won a national award. So she may have the chance to be going to Carnegie Hall in New York City this year, um, I think in May, yep. to uh, receive a medal on stage at Carnegie Hall, which is very cool. We've had, we've had kids in the past uh, couple years that have done that as well. And also, I, I'd like to add, um, I submitted uh, two portfolios for ceramic work, mm -hmm. and uh, Zach Storch, uh, one of my students, he submitted two portfolios, and one was uh, judged uh, one of the top in the state. Excellent. So, and he received a thousand dollar scholarship to boot. So, oh, that's excellent. Yeah, it is. It's it's great. And uh, the thing with Zach is, he just started uh, beginning ceramics in September, and he was able to have a body of work and to submit two portfolios and he received top in the state with uh, some extra cash as well so I was very proud. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention one of our other uh, phenomenal juniors, uh, Jenya Becker, who did something that I haven't yep. seen on the state yep. level before. Every year in New Hampshire they have um, what they call an American Visions Award and they'll have nominations for that and every nominee receives, I believe it's a hundred dollars mm -hmm. for a nomination mm -hmm. and then they choose five best in show pieces. Uh, last year we've we received one. Brenton Morgenstern received one uh, last year, and this year uh, Jenny was nominated for three of the twelve uh, pieces mm -hmm. top in the state, mm -hmm. and she actually won two of the five best in show. Mm -hmm. And wow. you know, for Pelham's a, a fairly small school compared to some of these other schools that submit, mm -hmm. and the number of uh, students that you know a teacher is allowed to submit. Uh, the fact that she got that kind of recognition, we were so proud of her, and mm -hmm. she's just mm -hmm. such an impressive kid. Um, but they really all are. We yeah. have we're, yeah. we luck out. We've got such great kids. I mean, uh, we're we're blessed to to teach here. It's a really vibrant, creative community. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. And so it's my understanding we had actually over eighty percent of our students that entered um, had some kind of recognition. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was and, around eighty percent, and yeah. that's not normal. Statewide, no. it's usually about what twenty some percent. Well, I, I think statewide, it's, it's I think it's just under fifty. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we about double that. Yeah, just yeah. about. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Doesn't get much better than that. Our, our kids so. are pretty phenomenal. Yeah. We're very Great. proud of them. So, and I know that we've had a lot of success in the area of music as well. So, yeah, can absolutely. you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I've been trying to think the best way to do that. I think chronologically through a school year, maybe. Um, I think maybe the most significant way of thinking of <clears throat> the way the music department's developed in the past few years is that it's just a much more visible d department and then much more engaged with the community in a way that is really important for a, a performing arts department. Um, so, of course, having the band out at football games and uh, participating in events like that, taking them to perform at the Festival of the Trees um, for the community spirit group that runs that, performing at uh, a senior center later in the spring, also a strawberry festival which happens um, in the summer. Uh, these are all the sorts of things that I think a performing arts group is really important for within a district and within a community. So I would say in the past few years you've seen that really growing and, and you're seeing more of that. Um, I guess on top of that then just the way that it's developed. So the band for instance 
we've been over the past few years building up to till this year where we actually had a full marching band halftime show out on the field during halftime at the game, um, which again is a, a huge part of that Friday night football atmosphere mm -hmm. and, and of course it makes, I mean with the kids going through that, that learning process is just phenomenal for them um, in terms of their camaraderie and, and achieving something like that together. So that's made a big impact on them and then the program as well. Um, another really I think wonderful part of what we do at Pelham in the music area is we have a huge number of offerings for students that aren't involved necessarily with the band, you know, that didn't get started back in fourth grade. Um, so these are all these general music classes, guitar and piano, drumming classes, we have a songwriting class, we have an advanced music combos class, um, there are advanced guitar and piano sections beyond the beginning ones. So just tons and tons of opportunities for musicians and, and people interested in music to get involved, which I don't know that you see a lot of that in a lot of other schools. You see more of the traditional ensembles, band, orchestra, choir, mm -hmm. and if you're not involved with those things, then, oh well, sorry. Not at Pelham, though. These kids have tons of cool opportunities to get involved. We've also had some pretty impressive individuals in the past few years. Um, this is my fifth year now, and We've sent at least one, but usually more than that, music majors off now in the past five years. We've got a student graduating this spring from Berklee College of Music uh, with a guitar performance degree, another one next year with a drum set performance degree from Berklee. We have students studying music education uh, at UNH and Plymouth State. We have more going next year to do the same thing. Um, we have a student next year who's been accepted to the Boston Conservatory, which is a world-renowned, uh, prestigious music conservatory on a pretty nice scholarship. Mm -hmm. um, they've been pretty impressed with him. We have had four students this year involved with the New Hampshire All-State Ensembles. So we have students in the All-State Orchestra. We had students in the All-State Band. We had a student in the All-State Guitar Ensemble, which was new this year. Um, so. I think Pelham is starting to show up on the map, at least if you will, in the, in, within the state and within the music scene, and people are definitely starting to notice that. I speak with colleagues at these events, and, uh, and they're all noticing it, so Great. it's been pretty exciting to be a part of that. That is exciting. Th there's been a big announcement recently. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many people know about I don't that think many one. People so do know about it. Yeah, we were, share that one. we were asked by uh, Senator Ayotte to perform next summer, summer of 2016, in the National Independence Day Parade in Washington, D.C. So to represent the state, you know, the one school from the state that'll send a group, at least nominated by the senator, mm -hmm. to do that. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big opportunity, pretty exciting for us, and I'm um, starting to figure that out and get that planned already. So Excellent. yeah, that'll be a great. What a great opportunity for yeah. our, our students. That's wonderful. So I'm going to ask, why do you think you've had this kind of success in the past five years? What is it that, that you think is, is doing that? I think that the department, all the infrastructure has al always been there, and that having a consistent body who had a lot of energy um, and then could start to shape this program over the course of a few years mm -hmm. um, has helped really do just that, and it's the reason why the program has started to evolve and develop. I, it's, tar it's tough when you turn over a teacher in a position like that um, to get the sort of consistency that you want to, to see these sorts of changes over time. Um, so I think there's just a lot more enthusiasm and energy that's gone into the, to the department and the kids pick up on that, and then maybe a few philosophical shifts that are addre you know, to address the needs of today's students. Um, has just helped get everyone more interested in it. And, and the kids get involved and they have a good time and then other kids want to get involved and it just all builds up like that. Excellent. How about in the, uh, the art program? Why do you, what do you think the success is coming from? Well, <coughs> if I'm, I've been, this is my 11th year mm -hmm. at Pelham High School and when I first started at Pelham High School, the art department was essentially, it was very, a skeletal body, mm -hmm. okay? Um, not very, uh, not many successes. Um, they haven't, they didn't submit to Scholastics for years. Um, uh, the ceramics department or the program, it was pretty much, you know, kind of out the door. But, um, and going back to the classes that were offered and with the classes that are offered now, I mean, now we have an AP studio, we have the advanced art, the drawing and painting too. 
um, a very strong ceramics program, uh, of course, introductory to art and 3D design. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, it was very uh, bare minimum. Mm -hmm. I think there was uh, uh, intro to art. It was the graduation requirements exactly. and then Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, and then Mr. Locke, he came, uh, this is his ninth year, so two mm -hmm. years after, um, and I think it's just we, both myself and Mr. Locke, we have a lot of the same educational philosophies, teaching philosophies. Um, it's almost, we treat a lot of the kids at, at like a post-secondary level. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage for them to use their you know, their imaginations to elaborate their ideas. Um, just try things out. If they fail, then do it again and just learn from your mistakes. And just, um, you know, in submitting work to the scholastics and for the students to receive these type of awards, major awards, it's really, I mean, it puts a, you know, a feather in their hand. They're really proud of it. They didn't think that they could ever do that. Um, and also, you know, we've had success for the Festival of Trees this past year. Mm -hmm. We won, you know, the, the art department. They were able to, they got the top prize, the first place. Right. Um, but also we had two congressional winners and passed for the state congressional awards um, for two, uh, it was just two students. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just the way that our department is, is evolved. It's just, it's, it's a really strong department. And, um, and like I said, both myself and Mr. Locke, we just, we have a lot of the same teaching philosophies and we just tried to build on that throughout the years. And now, I mean, it's just, it's very, you know, really successful, so. Yeah. Um, it's sort of, um, I think it starts from, in, even an intro. I mean, it's, it's great to reference, you know, the successes that our kids have had, you know, nationally or locally, uh, the things they've been involved in. But also the kids that sign up for an intro class because they have to take it as a graduate graduation requirement, and then they realize that they are capable of being a visual communicator, and, and that's really where it starts is in the intro to art course. Um, the curriculum is built on confidence building, and I think a lot of kids and sometimes adults have have this idea that you're either born to be an artist or you're not. And some people say, "Oh, I can't do art, and I can't paint, and I can't draw." Uh, but it's a discipline. It's a it's skill based like anything else, any other course or any other activity that you're going to do. And getting through to those kids early on by showing them that they can do uh, work at a high level, and if they push themselves, and and, ha and sort of creating an environment where they're they don't feel like if they fail at something, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. That they feel like they have the opportunity to try something and be okay with the outcome, whatever that is, and to know that there's always a way to fix something. There's always a way to make it okay. Um, so I feel like we, we've got a pretty safe environment there in the art room. Kids feel like they can really explore. Uh, we get a lot, of, a lot of creativity out of it. And it's not just from our top award-winning students. It's, it's all, all across the board. I hear from students that it's, you know, it's one of their favorite rooms in the building and they, they love being there. And it's just a safe place for them. So I think that encourages kids also to take additional courses mm -hmm. Um, of which we just keep adding to. Actually, this year, Dr. Moore approved um, a new course, Contemporary Media, and that course is sort of designed to follow the trends of working artists today. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited about that. Um, you know, everything from digital art and working with technology uh, to doing stuff that we just don't offer as much now in our curriculum, printmaking and glass slumping and working with spray paint and other yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That'll be exciting. Yeah. We're excited. So I'm going to start looking to, the, I have to say, as an educator sitting here and, and being an educator for a number of years, I, I'm, I'm hearing themes throughout the success. I'm hearing the theme of high expectations for our students. I'm hearing the theme of personalizing their education so that they've, they've found something that they're passionate about and allowing them to move there and, uh, and providing an environment that is safe to them to take risks. And all of those things we know are good teaching and and that's and that's um, we have the three of you provide quality teaching and educational opportunities for our students and I think that's why they're seeing that success so thank you very much for that um, and now we're looking ahead you're gonna get some new spaces mm -hmm. within the next very year exciting, I'm yeah. sure all three of you are thrilled oh, we yeah. have a had kind of an art corner going on um, 
that will bring in a lot more natural light into uh, your area. It will be enlarged mm -hmm. <laughs> significantly from what you have right now. I know the music department's actually going to go over and take over your corner. Yeah, yeah. along yeah. with um, it's almost like a music wing down there. Yeah. We have okay. a music room. We'll have a auditorium. We'll have some Two practice room. rooms. So. Um, and there'll be another music room down in that area. So it, it's a nice space um, that you're going to be moving into. But as a result of that, you've also taken a look at your curriculum, and mm -hmm. you now are, are bringing some new things to the to the table. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your pathways that are that are coming out next year? We we had a Ann Fowler um, who's just the sweetest, and she she really does care about the curriculum and our programs, and she's partnered with us. Um, and there's there's just so many people that, you know, Mike and I, we feel really great about our program. We feel really confident, but uh, it's people like Ann who, who sort of put forth the effort to work with us and, and try new things and partner. The support we've got from our administration and at the district level, uh, the town, the community, everyone supports these kids and the stuff that we're doing with them. Um, and so we're really grateful for that. So to add something like this, uh, Ann approached us um, after seeing how many kids were really getting into uh, the visual arts <clears throat> and with Mr. Mundy as well, the performance arts, uh, and that there was a really high percentage of kids that were starting to pursue those as career options or just take a, a bunch of classes that related to our department. And we sort of sat down with her and, and came up with a few different pathways that a, a student might take if they come into high school with an interest in the visual arts. The way that we broke it up, which I think is it's beneficial to them because they can really they have some flexibility but it really caters to what their sh their strong points are um, a, a kid can take a general studio arts pathway if they don't necessarily know career-wise what they're going to do but they know that they want to do something in the visual arts and that mirrors more of a traditional pathway in the arts there's a lot of variety in the types of art courses um, they're very hands-on based um, and that's in contrast to the other two pathways we offer for the visual arts. One is a digital pathway, which for kids that are either into digital photography or more of the graphic design, web-based type thing, uh, they can sort of go that route. And within the options that we have, there's some flexibility there. So if the kid's really into the photo, they can take all the photo classes that, that we offer. And if they're really into, you know, being a designer, which is one of the top jobs, you know, that artists have out there, uh, they can start their their path to do that and to know what that's like to be a working designer. And then finally we have um, an art education pathway and we've found, and I know Mr. Mundy's found this as well, I think kids see, you know, how much we truly enjoy our jobs and they, they ask themselves what they want to do, how they want to spend their time and, you know, to get paid for something they're passionate about. And a lot of them wind up going to school uh, for education programs. So the art ed pathway, you know, mixes some of our uh, educational courses we offer at Pelham, uh, mixes the art courses, mm -hmm. uh, some of our, I think, oral communication, yep. things like that that are going to help them to be a confident educator if that's the path that they choose. Mm -hmm. And even in years past, we've been involved with the New Hampshire Institute of Art, and they have an art education program as well, and they have sent students of theirs for uh, student teaching. And uh, we've had, well, we had one last year, mm -hmm. and then I think we had another one a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the kids are exposed also to, you know, student teachers coming in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have a lot of students going, wow, you know, that's, I kind of like that. You know, I'd like to do that also. So it was fantastic when uh, Ann Fowler came up uh, with the uh, Pathways and Arch Education. That was, uh, that was one that we could do. And I don't think, really... I've never heard of an art education pathway at the high school level. Mm. I mean, this is, it's kind of a rarity, but you know, it's great that Pelham High School has it now, so, and it's a great opportunity for the kids. It is, that's wonderful. How about in music? I know that we're looking at pathways there yeah. too, so. So, I conceived of it differently with Ann Fowler, um, and we've created one music pathway that we're mm -hmm. calling Music Performance Pathway. And, you know, I think it makes a lot of sense to do this because a, a good majority of students that study music in high school don't go on to do it professionally. But of course it's a huge part of their life, it's a huge part of their their identity and, and their experience and they'll remember certain things probably forever and hopefully continue to be involved. So this pathway is a real nice way to recognize those sorts of students that have been heavily involved with the music department that love music, that are passionate about music. It's not going to be their career but they want, you know, we want to be able to say 
this student has done amazing musical things and they deserve some recognition for that. They might be the kid that goes to college for accounting, but they perform on the weekends Absolutely. And, and, and things like that. And there's yeah. a lot of crossover. I oftentimes tell parents um, when they're looking at their kids' schedules and things like that, that uh, med schools and law schools often look very favorably on music, mm -hmm. uh, those students who studied music, just because they know if you've studied music, you can develop a highly refined technical, physical skill. You have the ability to focus and work hard and persevere and do all the things that will be, you know, allow you to be successful doing anything. So now this pathway allows a kid who's going on right into accounting or something else to say, but look, I have this music strength and, and on the other side of it, they recognize that. Um, so I've created, we've created, Ann Fowler and myself, sort of two options for the pathway. Mm -hmm. Basically, what I see with the students generally, and there's always overlap, but I have, you have the students who start back in fourth grade with band, usually, and then as they get to high school, that's their primary way of being involved with the music department. So we've created a pathway, an option for them, that they can uh, meet the requirements of the pathway through being involved with band and marching band and doing that during their time at Pelham. Or the other sort of student who maybe decides a little later they want to get involved or a little later they want to get more formally involved and those are your guitar player students, keyboard, drumming, the songwriters, all these those general music students we talked about earlier. So there's an option for them as well to achieve this, the requirements of this pathway where they can take a sequence of, of guitar classes and a combos class and a songwriting class and then also be recognized for having done that in their passion. So it's pretty great. Excellent. And then hopefully the new space will help support those, oh, those yeah, pathways. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, we've talked over the past few years about the successes that we're seeing in, in art and music, and, and it just doesn't seem to stop, and you guys don't seem to stop. You're always looking, what's the next step? What more can we bring to our students? And, and I think that that is the, um, that's the mission of the Pelham School District, is to inspire success one mind at a time, and, and you clearly are doing that. And when you, um, you bring something new to the table, it just continues to inspire these students and, and they are achieving success as a result of that. So thank you for helping us to achieve our mission. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. thank you for thank joining you. us for another edition of Pelham School District Today.